Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have these simple little Valentine uh, treat holders I'm going to give out as cards. So these can be done with pencils, pens. I want to show you if you're giving it to a teacher, you know they always need markers. But for the kids, you've got these pencils or you could even add paintbrushes, whatever way you want to gift it. Um, but this is really simple to do and we're going to use one sheet of six by six paper and just some of our punches. Uh, this is really an easy project because it takes minutes to make. So today I'm going to be using my hip kit gradient cardstock because I want you to be able to see the lines and you can just see that from one sheet of paper you can really uh, have a totally different look. So it's nice to be able to use, you can get four out of these and make them all look different. So grab a six by six sheet of paper and it's going to be very simple. We're going to score it at one and a half, three and four and a half inches. So one and a half, it doesn't matter what side, it's just you print. So one and a half, three and four and a half inches. So you should have four slots and we will not need our scoreboard anymore. The rest is just gonna be folding and adhesive. So I wanna use this beautiful print, so I'm gonna flip it. But you see you have four little slots. Let's just kind of start uh, folding in our scores right now so that when we fold it, it's gonna be easier. Okay, so we've got these four lines. Now, what we're gonna do is take our first corner right here on the left, and we're gonna fold it to this second score line. So it's gonna be a triangle, triangle shape. Now make sure you don't do it exactly on the score line because you'll have trouble folding it. Just kind of do it right before and it should look like that. And now we're gonna take this bottom piece and fold it at the first score line. So just again, another triangle. This is just gonna be a little bit smaller. Too simple. And our last fold is gonna be right here. And we're gonna fold this one the same as this, just at the first score line. All right, so once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and fold your left side in. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and fold this over. And then you're gonna fold it back. Now this part can get a little frumpy, so it's okay if you have to puff it up just a little bit in the back. All you need is, a, no one's gonna really see the back. You're gonna have this adhesive right here. Just pop it on. I'm using foam tape. You could use glue, whatever you want. And then when you pop it to the front, you're gonna have this little packet. Now it looks pretty plain. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use our punches. Now, if you don't have a scalloped punch like this, no big deal. You can use circle punch, you can use anything you want. And this is about two and a quarter inch, I believe, my sizing. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this out. And I do wanna show you what it will look like if you know you have a circle punch too. Just to And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut it in half. And it doesn't matter if it's even or not because it just gives it an interesting look. And if you have a you know circle punch, I suggest you just do the same thing, just kind of like right in the middle. So I'm going to take this and I love the option of double-sided because you can pick either side you want. And I, I like this. That matches two. I think I'm gonna use both sides. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'm just gonna glue it on there. And pop that on. And on this side, now I wanna show you what it would look like just to, for reference. So if you have the circles, you can see it'll look just as nice. Um, it's just a totally different shape. And I'm gonna flip it this way and use this one. Okay, 
And now is also the time where you can grab some of your fun little stickers and just make this little thing come to life. And I just love the little flowers to add on there. And these little circular stickers really add some fun to these as well. Even add some of your sequins from your kits, a little flower. I like to just glue it on there just for every fun little spot. And this is our little pencil holder. You could even cut this a little bit in length if you wanted to make it for crayons. Just another option, but these are super simple and just some really fun ways that you can use your punches and your cardstock paper. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this project.